Okay, so hello, welcome to another episode of Arguments and Logic. This will actually be an abbreviated episode. I was originally planning on doing a um, ask me anything kind of thing. I even uh, toyed with the idea of doing something along the lines of a um, meta version of ask me anything. If no one actually asked me any questions to just pretend I was answering questions. Then I sunk to the lows of getting on threads. Um, no shade on threads, I suppose, except uh, the whole microblogging thing isn't really a platform that has ever really uh, worked for me. Uh, you know, there's the whole controversy with Twitter and, you know, that, or X or whatever it's called now. Uh, anyways, I got on threads and threw out some questions, but I have not heard any answers. But the Jiminy Cricket in my brain that Jiminy Cricket already knew the question and already knew the answer, my conscience, my, my sense of integrity. And that is the fact that I, uh, I kind of messed up. I forgot to do an intro introduction in the, the first episode. You know, uh, Robert Sykes was so gracious as to uh, join us on our maiden voyage, and I forgot to say something a little bit more impactful than... He was a superstar in cybersecurity. Perhaps I could have used some more verbiage. Perhaps I could have been more verbose. Well, I neglected to say that he brings over 23 years of experience in information technology, starting in roles at the information help desk to the network administration, system administration. There's a lot of administration and network stuff going on here. Uh, then as a manager of technology services where he built numerous uh, network infrastructures with next-gen firewalls and network appliances. Uh, he also played a vital role in successfully mitigating numerous uh, cyber attacks, which is the whole reason why you should care about the subject of cybersecurity, of course is the fact that this is an ongoing threat that we face when it comes to cybersecurity, whether we're talking about your role uh, at work or we're just talking about you playing on your, your phone or, or your MacBook or your um, iPad or your uh, Windows machine, laptop, doesn't matter. Um, you know, everyone's vulnerable, even people on Linux machines. Everybody's vulnerable in this day and age. We should all care about cybersecurity. And I can think of no one more qualified to discuss the issue of cybersecurity than Robert Sykes, which is precisely the reason why I'm not that surprised that he was recently accepted into the master's program for the University of San Diego in cybersecurity. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sykes. I'd like to start out with the most pressing question, which is, uh, what can you tell us about Barbie's role in uh, splitting the atom? Okay, so that joke didn't go terribly well the first time. It's not gonna go any better this time. But what I will do is make a better attempt to uh, tell a better joke in the future. And uh, on a serious note, I will make a better effort at uh, professionalism. This podcast is, of course, a work in progress. Uh, speaking of which, someday I might do a podcast where we talk about some questions. Maybe that would make more sense, being as I don't have a whole lot of street cred compared to uh, folks like Sykes and some of the uh, other folks in uh, the STEM field that I've been reaching out to. However, uh, as I interview more people and uh, you grow to love me and I have more than 15 people who have watched America's favorite podcast, uh, maybe you have questions um, or something you want me to discuss in a solo episode. Or, or maybe I will never torture you with a solo episode. But the fact remains, the comments section is available. This is simply... Uh, episode one 
Uh, I can't bring myself to uh, put this on Facebook because as uh, Kaylee on Ted Lasso says, Facebook is for racists and grandmas. Um, I don't know. I'm very much over that platform, not to mention X or whatever it's called. Uh, Threads, though, if you find me on Threads, I, I may post uh, episode two there, for instance. And uh, maybe over time, I'll actually get some questions there. The comment section here on YouTube is open. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll reach out to some of my 80-plus uh, followers on TikTok. Anyway, comments, always appreciated. Well, actually, sometimes the comments are mean. Um, regardless, mostly appreciated. And uh, I'll do a better job of introducing people in a more professional manner going forward, of course. I was super stoked uh, to have that first episode. I had that dopamine rush. The fact remains I will do better going forward. This is merely episode 1.5, and I'll see you next time, kids.